Today I'm going to switch and I'm going to make a comparison between two different uh, foam cases. One is from Peak Design, this is one that I've got right here, along with the uh, handlebar mount compared to the Quad Lux uh, case that also comes with the uh, handlebar mount. This will be a quick comparison, see the pros and the cons, and let's get into it. In a nutshell, what do I get on both brands uh, setups? Let's go with the Peak Design's uh, setup first. The one thing I like the most is a foam case for how slim and how uh, low key it feels. It's got a very rock build on the back, that means you don't need any pop socket or any kind of like uh, like additional uh, gripping uh, aid. Also, the middle section right here, this is where you're going to uh, uh, plug or basically clip your, your phone to your handlebar mount. This works like a magnet, basically, here's the here's the, uh, the base, you just basically stick it like this, and that's pretty much how you clip your phone case to your Peak Design's uh, base mount. How do you remove it? There's only one way. You just have to basically use the underside of it. You gotta press it down like this, and it goes out just as simple as that. Additionally, the actual uh, base mount comes with the underside uh, clipping system for any headlights you may have, and also for any GoPros that you might wanna put in. This can also be tilted back and forth if you wanna get those uh, different uh, kind of shots. Now let's go to the quad logs uh, setup. This is where you used to plug the, the base mount, and this is the, uh, the handlebar mount. The handler by mouse got it's got like a tab in here, you gotta press it down, and then you gotta find a way to kind of like jiggle it and it kind of goes back and forth. But once you get the hang of it, it's kind of hard to remove it. It's very hard to remove it. And the way that you take it out is pretty much on reverse. You basically press the, the tab that's on, on the back, you twist it, and it should be out. Now you may be asking yourself, how does it perform out on the field or where you know out on the ride? I'm gonna speak on behalf of the Peak Design setup. I can tell that this one right here performs much better than the Quad Lock setup. Just for the fact that I was able to maneuver and do any kind of like changes while I was out on the ride, I was actually riding my bike with only one hand. So basically, it's like a much better, much like uh, like like practical approach when you use a phone mount because I'm all about practicality. I don't want to be like stuck, kind of like tinkering between the the the, the, the Allen keys and just like all those like things like out of when you're riding. It takes away the fun out of riding and makes you like dread actually using this kind of devices. So, in conclusion, I think it's a much better solution than the Quad Lux. I'm gonna be uh, basically switching entirely to the Peak Designs uh, ecosystem and just try to see what other things that I can try to see and complement uh, this uh, this setup. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, subscribe, give it a like. And when it comes to the Quad Lux, I'm gonna leave it out for sale. If you have, uh, if you want to buy it. I'm going to leave the, the actual specs and the price somewhere in this video or in the description. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.